So in this video we're going to show you around the beaches, we're going to show you the shopping centre and we're going to have some dinner in one of our favourite restaurants in Puerto. So Puerto Rosario is the capital of Puerto Ventura, the airport is here and in general it's a very Spanishy town. You guys would have travelled through it when you land here but that's probably about it. Yeah, so today we're going to show you around, if you haven't been here, show you some things to do. First we're going to have a coffee in Cafe Rocamar. So we've got a camera here and it's uh, it's like a, a decent camera, nothing crazy but decent. It's got like a microphone on top as well, we just invested in a new microphone. Uh, and I think we're getting treated a lot nicer in places because we look like we're filming like some promotional video, which we kind of are. So uh, if you want to be treated better in Puerto, bring a camera and a microphone around with you. Hey, when do you wake up today? 10 o'clock. <laughs> I worked until 2. It's true, you work late. We're going to go have a look inside see what they got to eat. I got a good shot of David walking in the cafe, but I didn't film any more because we asked them. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> should we not do it? I think we should. It was super weird. We went inside and uh, we asked if we could see the food on show, and she just kind of got out boxes of Tupperware. I hear some ham, some cheese, there's a bit of bread over there. Well, it looked great. It was basically like walking into like, your grandma's kitchen, she just opened the cupboards. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. like that. Food's pretty good, though. Looks pretty good, yeah, I love this bread. We've got a bit of ham on in queso. Goat cheese, classic. David's got some tortilla. It looks really good, like. I love it when the tortilla's not cooked too much and it's still like a little bit, uh, not too cooked, like the egg. Looks good. You get the bill, David? Yeah. I've paid up. So I just got ignored live on camera. <laughs> he even looked at me and just went, not today. So we just left the cafe, now we're gonna head down the beach, show you the beach. I have to say, the woman at the cafe was really lovely. I think oh, she, she was yeah. so sweet, yeah. Yeah, she's a really lovely woman, so. Cafe Orocamar, check it out. So Puerto is really good for a uh, few things. Yeah, one of the main attractions in Puerto is crazy golf. There it is, the golf court. The golf court. Oh, <laughs> Puerto took over from Betancuria as the capital of Fort Ventura since 1860. Puerto is famous for its art, sculptures and artefacts you can find throughout the city. From Puerto you can get the boat to Gran Canaria, Tenerife and mainland Spain. The population of Puerto Rosario is around about 40,000 people and right now we're heading to its main beach, Playa Chica. He's so blue. You'd never get to the tsunami though. <laughs> so as we're in the sea, ironically, we're going to update you on a little uh, potential tsunami in Fort Ventura and the Canary Islands. It's look, a, a potential is a stretch. It's not, it's not going to happen. It's highly unlikely. But Didn't the guys predict it like nine years ago? Yeah, he predicted the La Palma uh, volcano. volcano erupting, and the tsunami could happen off the back of that. Yeah. Um, no, but all jokes aside, it's actually terrible that the, about the volcano. Horrible. Yeah, really terrible. Really terrible. Really terrible. Um, they're lucky they evacuated it, but I don't think anyone's been there. Oh really? No, yeah. That's really good news. But yeah, so that if you haven't heard yet, the volcano has erupted in La Palma. And uh, there's a potential landslide which could cause a tsunami. So that would be, yeah. be shit. At the end of our YouTube channel, just to let you know. Yeah. Never slapped that. So yeah, but anyway, enjoy your day. <laughs> Crazy. Oh god, we should have used this one, Harry. So we've hidden the bat. So we've checked out the beach, now we're gonna to head to the shopping centre to have a look around. There's gonna be an ice cream. Or a smoothie. Or a smoothie. Tropical smoothie. I've just had my birthday week and it just ended yesterday, so I can't have an ice cream now. Had a cheat week. Is that your cheat week? Yeah. Mate, you have a fucking BV sized pizza every day. Yeah, well. This is not a paid partnership with Monzo, by the way. Monzo are good though. <laughs> oh. She ain't giving you that smoothie to your face.
So we were just in Las Rotondas, the shopping centre, and for some reason we got told off for filming, like everywhere we went. So we thought at first it was just one shop, but everywhere we went we got told off, so that must be some kind of like new Covid rule or something. I'm not sure if it's Covid rule or if it's just been there forever and we never filmed before, but it can't be. Everyone was super strict. Every shop we went into they told us, and then outside like one of the security guards said you can't film here, so. I think it's definitely Covid, it's not written on the signs anywhere, it says that like, you can't bring pets in and like dogs and stuff like that, but it's not written, I think it's a new rule. I think it's I think it's something to do with COVID because they don't want people filming if someone's not wearing their mask Could or be, yeah. if something like that happens. So there's know. too many people, maybe they don't want to get caught out and get a fine or whatever. Yeah, like. so I think it's just in this moment, but um, it was really strange. So yeah, we can't really show you the shopping centre, but um, it's just a shopping centre to be fair. It's a bit of a shame, but we're going to grab a coffee because we've got a uh, reservation for some lunch. We're going to show you a really cool place to have lunch. But in the meantime, we have a coffee. We can tell you about Las Rotondas anyway. Yep. Tell you the shops there and why. You should check it out if you're in Fort Ventura, potentially. So, catch up in a sec. So, we just stopped here at this little cafe. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, God. The umbrella's in the way, so I can't even see it. Meson La Saranda. La Saranda. We stopped here, we're going to get um, some water because we've had too much coffee today. But, uh, we thought we'd tell you about La Saranda because we can't film in there. Um, we just tell you rather than show you. We went around a few shops, Intersport, went to Base, went to Sprinter, um, Electron. It's just a, a shopping centre to be honest. If you're coming on holiday, you don't need to go there. It's just, for people that live here, it's good to go and get the bigger things that you can't get in the shops in like Coralejo and stuff. But, but yeah, I feel like if you're on holiday, you don't need to see it. Eh? Walking through Puerto, you can find many of its beautiful buildings, such as the Town Hall and many churches. Now we're heading to a restaurant called La Jaira, one of our favourite spots in Puerto. Here, you can choose between the tapas menu or the menu of the day. So we need some help from Google Translate to understand what cochino meant. Yeah, have a look. They would have a look. Cochino. Brilliant. <laughs> That's your one, mate. I'll get the other one. I'm going to check, um, I'm going to check Kinga de Pollo as well. Kinga de Pollo. What's Google saying? <laughs> that really narrows it down. <laughs> Chicken finger. <laughs> <laughs> so like always in Spain, we started off with some bread and oil and some special salts as well. That pink one is red wine. And the brown one is chocolate. I've got the pork in a peanut sauce and Harry's got some green some fish in, uh, is that tomato sauce? Can't really remember but it looks good. So there's a sea bream. Test. Test, test. That's pretty good. David normally doesn't like peanut, do you? Well, you know, I wouldn't choose that. See if you like this. Yeah, it's good. It's That's really good. good. <laughs> you look underwhelmed. No, no, no. It looks good. really good. It's really good. So what I really like about La Jaira is that the menu is really cheap. It's 12 euros and the food is amazing. Like if you can taste it's really good quality and you get quite a lot. As you've seen, like the starter, you get the bread first, sorry, then the starter, then the main and then the dessert, which you'll see in a minute. And the drink with it, which is crazy good. And it's a really nice location, 12 euros, you can't really beat it. And just to let you know, it's only in the afternoons on the weekdays, so from Monday to Friday, 
the menu of the day. On the weekends, there's no menu of the day. We made that mistake before, didn't we, David? Like, yeah, we did, yeah. We came around a weekend and got the normal food, but it's still really good. It's just The normal menu is really good as well, yeah. Yeah. David, I seriously think we have a coffee problem. Yeah, we do have a problem. It's called living in Fort Ventura. That's the truth, actually. Isn't it? Never drank this much coffee before living here. Neither. My family just came on a holiday and they were averaging about five cups a day. Yeah, that's normal. It's normal for here. Remember when we went to Italy and we had like seven cups a day? Italy's even worse than Fort Ventura. We were literally averaging seven cups a day, weren't we, though? Yeah. Here I'm on about a four. It was dangerous. Lie. It was dangerous, yeah. This is my third. My fourth. That's why the camera's so shaky. <laughs> oh, no, pretty good dinner, wasn't it? Yes, but we need to run for the bus. So we're heading back towards the bus station now. We get the line six. Yeah, the line number six, the Coralejo de Puerto Rosario. It's about three euros 40 per person, but all in all, it's a really good day, really good dinner just then. Really great dinner, yeah, really great beach. And uh, as we said, Puerto is, it's not necessarily like a must see. I'd say if you're here for like longer than a week, maybe it's worth coming to visit. Great restaurants, really nice beach. Yeah. Um, if you're really looking for like the vibe of a real Spanishy town, then Puerto Rosario has that. I think that's one of the best things about it is like there's a lot of locals here, a lot of good like restaurants and genuine Spanish food. And yeah, the beach is decent, so exactly. if you need any shopping as well, they've got the big shopping centre, so. And apparently a fun fair. Apparently. <laughs> so, a closed fun fair. We've got about five minutes to get the bus, so we're probably going to have to leg it. So. Yeah, let's leg it. On that note, like and subscribe if you like this video, spread it out to loads of other people, we need to get hit by a car. And we're going to stress two more videos on screen right now for you to go and watch. Um, but until then, we'll see you in the next video. See you in the next video, thanks so much. How, well, that's how you know you're in God's waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking good, isn't it? <laughs> All of them do this in Fort Ventura. Who's gonna shower? None of the showers. What? <laughs> God. Wait, this one was. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, Jesus. <laughs>